left circles wagons around Frankenstein, CNN says no need for investigation. CNN says no Franken investigation needed. The mainstream media pretends to be balanced and nonpartisan, but one look at their response to different sexual harassment allegations makes it painfully obvious that they have a double standard. On Friday, CNN's hypocrisy was on full display after host John Berman seemed to shrug off Senator Al Franken's recent groping scandal. The sanctimonious anchor wondered out loud if there was any reason for a congressional ethics investigation into the liberal darling's crass behavior. I'm not quite sure I understand an ethics investigation of what because he's apologized, Berman declared. And he, there was the picture, and there doesn't seem to be so much of a dispute there. Yes, CNN's version of justice, if you're facing an investigation, just apologize and the consequences magically go away. One has to wonder how well the I'm sorry, let's just drop it defense would work in a rape case before an actual court. Franken, whom President Donald Trump called Frankenstein, is not currently accused of rape, but he was caught on camera grabbing at a sleeping woman's breasts. The woman, current radio news broadcaster Lean Tweedin, was on the Uso charity tour with the comedian in 2006, before he became a senator, when the misconduct took place. Both the Senate Minority Leader and Majority Leader think Franken's actions need a review. Following these allegations, Senators Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell have called for an ethics investigation into Franken's misconduct, reported the Daily Caller. A quick comparison of the media's attitude toward another major scandal that is underway on the Republican side of the aisle shows just how deep the double standard has become. GOP candidate Troy Moore is facing allegations of inappropriate relationships some 40 years ago, which he has repeatedly denied. Outlets including MSNBC have been slamming the former judge and all but declaring that he's guilty, despite some serious questions about the veracity of the claims and a lack of clear evidence. Perhaps Democrats and left-leaning news groups are worried that if a congressional investigation starts asking questions about Franken, they'll uncover even more skeletons in his closet. The reality is that the Democrat Party has been shockingly quiet about calling out abusers of women within its ranks for decades. Bill Clinton has been accused of sexual harassment and rape, and was impeached for committing perjury when he lied under oath about an affair with a young intern. Yet the left pretended that he was their hero for decades. Only now in the fallout of the Harvey Weinstein, another liberal ally, has the left finally thrown Slick Willie under the bus. Then there's Ted Kennedy, the so-called Lion of the Senate, whom Democrats mourned as a saint when he died in 2009. They conveniently forgot about Kennedy's well-known penchant for harassing women, or the fact that he literally left a woman to horribly die of drowning while a drunk dead Kennedy couldn't be bothered to get help or tell the police. The double standard needs to stop. The moralizing and lecturing and hash me too hashtags from the same groups who are actually abusing women solve nothing. If society wants to end sexual harassment, then justice must be applied even-handedly and equally. Investigations and fact-finding are of course part of that, but only if we stop giving special treatment for some while instantly condemning others. CNN could start now. Please press share on Facebook if you think justice should be politically blind. Blind.